With Rob Lewis, BrentHubsVolQuest.com, it's time for the Fast Break, presented by our good friends at Exterior Home Solutions. Be sure and check them out for all of your roofing needs, siding needs. You're going to add on a porch, change out windows, whatever you got, Exterior Home Solutions will take care of you. And whatever Tennessee needed tonight, Rob Lewis, Dalton Connect took care of. I've seen guys on heaters, but this is this is borderline insanity, what he's done the last three games for Tennessee. Um, t- tonight was just incredible. I mean, I, I, I try to, I'm, I'm trying to make sure this is not too hyperbolic of a statement, but I mean, you've been doing this a long time. I mean, I, I've been doing it a long time. You've been doing it a really long time. But I, I think that last, I mean, the, the last seven minutes of the first half, I, I don't think I've ever seen anything comparable to that from a Tennessee basketball player. I mean, 20 point. I mean, he had two points with 7.05 left in the, in the first half and gets to halftime with 22. I mean, he's, he's 9 of 10 from the floor in the first half, 3 of 3 from 3. I mean, I, again, I don't. I'm trying not to be hyperbolic, but you know, going I, my first season was 2002. I've I've never seen anything like that last seven minutes from a Tennessee player. You know what's crazy about the the first half for him? I, you know that he's coming off the Georgia game, and there's plenty to get to in this win. But he's coming off the Georgia game where you think, okay, he's on a heater, and and he just waits on the game to come to him. I mean, he gets the he gets the offensive putback for the dunk for his first two points. And then he goes 10 minutes without taking a shot, Rob. I mean, that's like most scores are high volume guys, right? Guys who put up a lot of high volume shots. And it's just like, he's just sort of hanging around and then it's one and then it's two and then it's four. And then it's, oh yeah, by the way, he's nine of 10 from the field. I mean, it, it's, I, I've, it feels so effortless. I think that's the bigger thing that stands out to me is just how effortless right now it feels for him. Absolutely. And you know, I mean, not that he already wasn't everybody's focal point in their defensive scout, but I mean, even more so than ever, you know, after these last two games, I mean, you know, Florida had to, not that, you know, he wasn't already going to be priority number one, but you know, he's priority number one with two or three asterisks, you know, on the, on the game plan after what he had done to Mississippi state and, and to Georgia. And he just, just took them apart. And like you said, I mean, it wasn't, you know, he didn't take 40 shots to get 39 points. He took 23 shots to get to 39 points today, which is is big time. Yeah, and, and I just don't know the last time we've seen a Tennessee basketball player who could score anywhere on the court in any way possible. And, and listen, I, I know somebody, I asked somebody this question. They're like, honestly, you know, I'm not comparing him to Bernard King, but like, it's a it's a Bernard King like deal. He can back you down in the post if he's got a mismatch. He can hit the elbow jumper. He can finish at the rim, and he can make the three point shot. I, I mean, Tennessee's had scores. Allen Houston was a score for a lot of three balls. Chris Lofton, we know what he did. I don't know that Tennessee's had a guy who could score from anywhere on the floor. I certainly haven't seen anybody play like that in a Tennessee uniform. I, mean, I think he's I think he's more some to me he's more similar to Houston. But then again, I don't remember. I mean, I was a little kid other than the highlight. I mean, I just I just know Bernard from highlights. I mean, I can't compare to that. But I mean, Houston had had some mid-range game. He could put it on the floor. I mean, he was more, I think, of a probably a spot up shooter, at least in, in college than, than Dalton is. But you know, I, I think they're comp- comparable in the way that they can score at, you know, all three levels. You know, Ron Slay, I mean, I, I love the Slay dog, don't be wrong. Slay, if you hear this, not a not a criticism. But I mean, he could score at all three levels, but he wasn't putting it on the floor, you know, like like Dalton is. I mean, he wasn't, you know, he didn't quite have that. I mean, Ron could, you know, had mid range, could shoot from outside and was nasty in the paint, but not with the flare or the, you know, kind of the explosion that, that you see from Dalton and certainly not an open court player like, like Dalton is. Yeah. And let me say this, I'm in no means comparing Dalton connect to Bernard King, who's one of the all time greats at all levels of basketball to, to play the game. I'm just saying it's Tennessee's not had a lot of guys who can score nope. in that many variety of ways is the point I was making, but here's the thing, Rob, here's about tonight. You know, everybody's going to talk about connect, and rightfully so. Um, but Jonas Adu, again, back-to-back games. I mean, what, what he's doing for Tennessee right now is different, and, and that's big for Tennessee. I think it's huge. I mean, yeah, obviously, you know, Dalton he is going to be the lead for everybody, as he should be. But, I mean, I, I just think the continued development of Jonas is, is enormous for this team, especially when you, when you pair it with Dalton. I mean, you've got – I don't think Tennessee's ever been this good inside outside. You know, had you know Grant. I don't. You know, there certainly was not. Grant didn't have a complimentary player like Dalton Connect on the perimeter, and you know Jonas isn't doing what Grant did down low. But 
he's he's pretty darn competent right now. I mean, 19 points today, you know, and I, I just I'm really impressed with how Jonas bounced back because I mean, Tolu Smith gave him the business last week at start. I mean, and, and his head coach challenged him in a very personal way coming out of that, and you know, there were some some kids couldn't handle, it. And, and Jonas has responded in a way that has that tells me a lot about his character and his mental toughness with, with what he's done the last two days, two games. Uh, yeah, up next for Tennessee's Alabama, but Rob, this was a this was a big one to get. You didn't have the rowdiness, it, you know. It's a different deal. You moved your game time up. There's a lot of uncertainty. This is an, again another mature performance by Tennessee, which I think is a positive because it is a variety of guys who are contributing. But again, this shows a lot of maturity from this basketball team, just to go take care of business. They were supposed to win this game. This was not supposed to be a Florida upset, and they did exactly what they were supposed to do, and now they turn their sights to, to Alabama on Saturday in another big-time matchup. Yeah, and, and Florida, you know, I'm, I, I don't think Florida's that great, but, I mean, they were they were a really good offensive team, or at least they have been to this point. They're averaging 86 points a game. They play fast, a lot of possessions, and, and Tennessee made them look bad today. They shot 29% from the floor. You know, you could just see the gate, the body language in that second half. I mean, Florida, I mean, they, they were done. They were cooked. And, you know, I, I'm with you. I think for, you know, it may not seem like a big deal, but to have your your routine thrown off, you know, playing at five, not, you know, you're expected, you know, two days ago that this is going to, you know, if you're a Tennessee player, this is going to be an absolute madhouse in there, typical, you know, home game, conference, SEC opponent. And, you know, they they brought their own juice, which, you know, I thought was impressive. And I, I also kind of think that when Dalton started going off like that, it, it lit a fire under his teammates. And, you know, you could see that they, you know, he – they were just riding along in his wake. Yeah, and it's clear it's clear that he's becoming not just a fan favorite, but this I mean, not that his locker not that the locker room didn't trust him and didn't believe in him, but the last I mean, what he's doing and what he's doing on a consistent basis, you see yeah. the way his teammates kind of feed off of him. It's not just Ziegler. I mean, he he's he's more than just a scorer on this basketball team. There's a there's a leadership quality to him, I think. Just because, as you were talking about on the podcast, just kind of a basketball robot. He just shows up. Nothing bothers him. He just keeps playing the game, and he played the game really well tonight as Tennessee wins in a big-time way and takes care of business against the Florida Gators. Up next, the Alabama Crimson Tide on Saturday. we got full coverage of Dalton Connect's big day in Tennessee's third conference win at VolQuest.com. That's going to do it for this edition of the Exterior Home Solutions Fast Break. Have a great rest of your evening, everybody. Your roof, it's the most important protection against nature for your home or your business. That's why I trust the experts at Exterior Home Solutions.